Hello everyone, my name is Shireen and today I'm going to show you how to beat frostbite in Dauntless. There are four ways in which you can decrease or prevent frostbite in the Dauntless frost escalations and that is by using avatar abilities, cleansing pylons, linear silvers, boons and of course the frost escalation amps. And we're going to go through each one of those right now. So first of all we have the cleansing pylons. These can be unlocked in your Slayer's Path and then crafted by visiting Granny Stranger in Ramsgate. Placing a cleansing pylon down during frost escalations reduces frostbite by 30%. Pylon Aura will also prevent frostbite levels from increasing and each node on your Slayer Path increases how many you get from crafting, the duration, the radius and the effectiveness of those cleansing pylons. And now let's talk about the avatar ability. These are brand new and they can be picked up right before you go into your frost escalation. And each ability gives you frost bite reduction depending on the damage you deal. And there are four avatars and those avatars are... The first one is the avatar of control. 30% increased stagger damage per hit and reduces frost bite when behemoths are staggered or interrupted. Avatar of subtlety deals 50% increased wound damage, reduces frostbite when behemoth parts are wounded or broken. The second one is the Avatar of Unity, which grants 7 shields that reduces frostbite on slayers that already have a shield. And the fourth and final Avatar ability is the Avatar of Destruction, which gives you 15% increase on critical strike chance and reduces frostbite with every critical strike. And now let's talk about Lanier's Boons. Lanier Silver will grant you boons at the start of Frost Escalation areas. She will then tell you what to do to reduce Frostbite. The first one being the Boon of Warden Warrior. Deal damage when glowing orange to reduce Frostbite. Second one is Boon of the Warden Scout. Break marked behemoth parts to reduce Frostbite. The third one is Boon of the Warden Mender. Enter glowing safe zones to reduce Frostbite. The Fourth and final one is the Boon of the Warden Defender. Destroy orange shield spheres to reduce the frostbite. And the last thing we're going to talk about is the escalation amps. And I'm going to be talking about the main ones that you will get from Archindro. So you can get three power boosts at the top of the points tree. You can get three times insulated gear, which reduces frostbite by 10%, and that stacks with warmth or insulated gear. Uh, bottled Wrath, which prevents frostbite buildup for 8 seconds after leaving the bracier radius. Warmed Blood, when you become frostbitten, this reduces frostbite by 50%. And that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know if I've missed anything or if you want me to make any more videos from the Dauntless Escalation. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. of all scouts.